Hi guys, it's Gareth Ward from Restaurant Inner Sea with Rooms in McCuntliff. Today we're going to cook this awesome lamb shawarma. As far as I'm concerned, best lamb in the world from Wales, my local butcher. So let's do it. So you don't need to be a pro to cook this dish. It'll probably take you about 40 minutes to an hour. We want some nice fatty pieces of leg, which we've got here. Obviously, if you don't want the fat afterwards, get rid of it afterwards, but please, please leave it on while it's cooking. And we've got one of these here. It's a tenderizer, and you just give it a little tap down like that. And what happens is this little plastic thing goes back and you're left with these needles. Now that just helps break down any sinews. And also when you put the marinade into there, the oil kind of sucks inside and gets the whole marinade process going a little bit quicker. And only do the meat, you don't need to do the fat. If you haven't got one of these at home, uh, use a fork, but I would advise you to buy one because you can use them on absolutely everything. They're great on chicken legs, they're great on beef, everything else. So we just go over it like so. And like I said, that's going to just break down any, any sinews. Obviously, the biggest job is to get this lamb in marinade. So what we're going to do next is we grab ourselves a nice deep bowl. And we're going to start putting all of our ingredients in here. So we're going to start off, this one's cumin, coriander, and then some cinnamon. These are all almost equal quantities. Then a little bit of ginger, some small paprika, some salt. This will like almost brine the meat as well as marinade. So the salt is obviously going to help to season it at the end. And then uh, sugar, some ground turmeric, some allspice, and this is garlic powder. This is uh, onion powder, and as like, there'll be a recipe with this, so don't worry. It's, uh, it's all going to be written down and all be there for you to try. And this is some sumac. And last is some black cardamom, which is really, really smoky and incredible. It goes very, very well with the lamb. So we're going to give that just a gentle mix together like so. Get all of them ingredients mixed. Obviously, this looks like quite a lot of marinade there, but obviously you want to get all of that flavour onto this meat. You don't want a tiny bit of marinade, otherwise it will not be submerged. You want it submerged in that marinade. So once that's all mixed together, we're just going to add some olive oil. Just a really, really good extra virgin olive oil. And you just want to mix this consistency of wet sand. And a great other tip for this is if you've actually got the time and you've got all the ingredients in beforehand, make this marinade the day before you're even going to put your lamb in. And then it almost rehydrates and all the flavors come together and they become incredible. So you get even a better flavor in the lamb than you would if you just put the lamb straight in there. So uh, you want that nice sandy, wet sand consistency there. That's what you're after, it smells amazing. So you've pricked your meat and you just want to get them in there one by one and you just want to make, move it around in the marinade so it's basically like that. And just like that, that's all beautifully marinated. Now, like you see, it's submerged in there. So that's it, meat all in there, it's all nice submerged. Cover the bowl up and stick it in your fridge. If it's a special occasion and you really want to wow your friends, well then, there's no better lamb in the world than Welsh lamb for me. So you, you, need to, you need to buy it and you need to cook it and I promise you, you'll be blown away by it. Awesome, so this has been in the fridge overnight. As you can see, the oil's are separating out of it, lovely. That means it's done its job. So everything's sunk in there and the, the rest marinade's done its job. So what we're going to do with this now is you're going to take a piece out and we're just going to scrape off that marinade using your fingers. You want to try and get as much of this off as you can. It's done its job, you don't need it to be on there anymore. And get into any little gaps that are there, any little folds. Beautiful. And then once you get it down to a stage where you're happy with it, you get yourself a tray. And a tray that'll fit in your oven. Because there's a couple of little steps to this. If you haven't got any means of a barbecue, or it's too cold, or whatever, if you can get out there and even buy a disposable barbecue, or I, I do stress that this is better when it's been on over coals, get that nice flavour, that nice charness. If you haven't got that, a little griddle pan at home, it'll be cool. Um, but I do suggest that you get a barbecue in somewhere. 
So this is the first stage. So we're just going to get some little skewers and just insert them into the meat. So there it is. There's the first stage done of your PGI Welsh lamb. It looks incredible, smells amazing. Let's get this bad boy on the barbecue. So as you can see there, the fan's doing its job, putting loads of air into that barbecue, creating flames with that wood, which is what you want, because what you're going to do now, you hold on to your prongs, you're just going to char the meat over them flames. And then as soon as this is ready, we're going to pop it in the oven, 100 degrees, full fan, for about 45 minutes. Mmm, smells amazing. So we're just going to stick this in the oven now. We'll come back to that in a minute. Awesome, so while the lamb's in the oven, we're going to put a couple of the garnishes together here for you. Really, really simple. This is like, for me, like a perfect family or friend sharing dish of an incredible lamb with a few really, really simple, it's a, it's a light salad for me. It's perfect, I love it. So here, we've got some mayonnaise. If you like a challenge or you're a real keen cook at home and you want to make your own mint sauce, feel free, make some. But jarred bought mint sauce is incredible and it's going to give this the exact flavour that you want it to taste of. So it's about two to one mayonnaise to uh, mint sauce. And obviously everyone knows lamb and mint, incredible together. This on a salad with the pickled red cabbage and the beautiful spicy lamb and the lettuce and the tahini is just absolutely insane. So you just give that a mix together like so. And there's one of your garnishes just there done already. So just get yourself a nice bowl. So there's your first, your garnish there, which is just your mint mayonnaise. And then just get yourself a really nice lettuce. You just take off the root. And all these over green, bitter old leaves from the, from the outside. And you just want really nice, crispy, fresh center. So we're just gonna cut this up. She's got a really nice crispy lettuce. Like so. And then the other garnish is you've got yourself some red cabbage. So get yourself a really nice, firm, juicy red cabbage. And we just take the core out the center and we just shred it up. And then all you're gonna do with this is Get yourself a good vinegar. This is uh, a very good quality white wine vinegar. Yeah, but you can use like a Chardonnay or a rice vinegar or anything such as that. And then you want three times vinegar to one times sugar. Mix them together until it's clear. And you just pour this over your red cabbage. Give it a little push down, give it a little mix. And if you leave that for about half or half an hour left on the meat, it'll go nice and pink and it'll be pickled. If you've got the luxury of uh, time, you could do this after you've marinated your lamb. So you can leave it in the fridge and the longer you leave it, the more intense the pickle's gonna be. So as you can hear, time has just gone off in the oven. Absolutely perfect. So we're gonna check this bad boy and then hopefully it'll be ready to rest. So what you're looking for is obviously, it wants to be nice and firm, which it is there. And we're gonna check the temperature in the middle. It wants to be about 65 to 70 degrees. So that's absolutely spot on. So that's going to leave that up the top to rest and then we'll get that reheated over the charcoal and then we'll serve this dish. While that's resting we're going to make the last garnish which is the tahini dressing. So we get ourselves a mixing bowl with a whisk and we've got a light roasted tahini paste here. I always go for the light one. When you start roasting it more it starts to get quite bitter. Just scrape all that out there into a bowl. Then we've got some minced garlic. Some salt some lemon juice. I'm gonna give that a whisk together. And then we're gonna add some mirin. And you just want a thick dressing consistency with this. So like a little, like almost like a really thick salad dressing. So that's kind of where we want it there. I want it like a, just falls off the whisk there. That's kind of how I want it. It's like a nice loose mayonnaise. And we'll just fill this last bowl with this. So awesome, so the lamb is resting. Uh, we've got our lettuce, we've got our beautiful mint mayonnaise, got our awesome tahini, and some uh, really nice crispy fresh pickled red cabbage. 
So what we're going to do is put this aside now and we're just going to slice this incredible Welsh lamb. I just can't wait for this bit, it's my favourite bit. This beautiful lamb has been rested now for about 10-15 minutes so it should be absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do is just lift it out of this tray and give it a little rub in all of this fat. And we're just going to give it a little, just two seconds over them fresh flames just to get that heat back into it on the outside and just to uh, give it a little crisping up. So that, as you can hear, all that beautiful fat is just dripping onto the wood there. This is why we leave the fat on. Like, you're going to see something incredibly juicy and tender here now. Even if you, like I said before, even if you're not going to eat the fat, get rid of it afterwards. But please, while it's cooking, leave it on because you're going to get a better piece of meat. Don't ever get rid of these juices. This juice is incredible. You can always just pour that on your lettuce like this. So you've almost made you've almost made a little little dressing for your lettuce. Pull these sticks out. Get yourself a nice sharp knife, and you just want to cut this up. Oh yeah, look at that! Unbelievable. Perfect, medium. That's where you want it. I can feel it just by slicing it. How tender this piece of meat is. How easy the knife's going through it. Beautiful. We're just going to lift this onto the board. So that's it. Look at that. How amazing is that? Perfect dish for lamb day. Enjoy, guys. We are family and friends. This incredibly tasty Welsh lamb.